I guess the first step is to go back and charge each of my terminal bridges, my indirect and my direct, to myself with the same environmental picture to the dog. And I'm going to control his response by blocking the wrong response with the leash. So with Elzer, what I'm going to do is put him in the sit, set a ball up on the side, send him to it. Charge an indirect terminal bridge. Following that, when he's doing really well at that, I'm going to set up the same scenario and then I'm going to recharge myself. So we're going to go through that step right now, starting with the indirect setup. I put this in the Tupperware. I'm going to take it out. That's for later. Free. Good. Aussie. Beautiful. I am going to put a leash on him because that's going to be a picture that he sees. I'll wait. You can see he gets pretty excited for the toy. <laughs> that's what can make this process a little bit more difficult. I am going to already pull this toy out. OPA. Get it. Good. And if I was a smart trainer, I probably, or if this was a session that I was doing with him, normally I would have rewarded him to myself instead of sending him indirect because I could tell from his energy out. Aussie. I could tell from his, her, from his energy that he wanted to go get that one. I knew that was going to be the obvious choice for him. The harder choice would have been to stay with me for yes. Wait. Yes. Good. And you'll notice that I pulled that toy out as I said yes. He saw the toy coming almost before I said yes. That's because if I didn't give him that bit of help, I'm sure he would have peeled off of me to get that ball. All right, let's try it again. Out. Let's see what kind of a, hey, hey, hey. Ah, see, pretty excited, huh? Ready? Opie. Wait, Opie. Get it. Nice. And that time I didn't plant the ball and redraw his attention to it, but I wanted to see if he would peel off and get it or wait for me. Out. Yes. Out. Ah, see. Wait. Ah, see. Ah, see. Aussie, good, wait. All right, he might be thoroughly directed towards it. Let's see what happens here. Opie? Yes. Oh, measy, nice. He actually took the indirect, I'm sorry, the direct reward with a back alley, I think because he saw the ball in my right hand. Out. Aussie? Opie? Get it. Nice. Out. Aussie. Slow it down a little bit. Good boy. Wait. Get it. Good. I helped him with body language so that he wouldn't take the back alley. Let's try it again. No body language. Out. Aussie. Wait. Aussie. 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 If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm just waiting for both of his front paws to hit the ground. That means he's settled, settled in a little bit more. Cool. Hope you. Get it. Nice job. PZs. Beautiful. That's what I want. Now this time I'm going to toggle him back to me with YES, predicting toy for myself. Out. Aussie. <laughs> Aussie. Good. Nice job. PZs, PZs. Opie. Yes. Nice. Good boy. And he's getting that. That's actually going quite well. Aussie. Good. So with very out, yes, good. Out, couche. With very little nonverbal help from my body, the dog is discriminating between the two. Get it? He's peeling off of me. Yes is predicting to me. I like this. I like that he's thinking on this level. For dogs that are high in drive, high in prey drive, really crazy for their toys, often they stop thinking less, especially when we play with them as much as we do and we build train we build obedience training in this reward based way. So this is a nice way to capture their mind a little bit more and cause them to think a little bit more. So we're gonna, I'm just going to do a couple more reps with Elza right here. Um, one is I'm going to put the toy, I'll do two. This will be a demonstration on the way towards generalization. I'm going to put the toy in my left hand, keep it there, say get it, see if he foregoes the opportunity to take it out of my left and grabs it off the ground. Opie. Asi, wait. Opie, good. Get it. Nice, measy. Ha ha. Out. 
OP. Same exact thing, OP. Good. Yes. Nice. And he's actually making good decisions there, and I like to see that. In this context, with this setup, this dog is understanding. When I say get it, there's an indirect reward permitted to him for him. And I say yes, he should stick around me. Very cool. Couché.